In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we begin a series of looking at the feature called Content Aware Editing. We'd like to give you some tips on using this feature on raw videos. What it does is it tries to analyze using an algorithm the raw video that you have and then classify certain segments of it as having certain kinds of features or certain kinds of problems so that you can extract parts of it and retain the others in your timeline as you build your project. So let's look a little bit at this. Now to get into content aware editing I can do it one of several ways. I can click on any video I have in my media room. Uh, let's simply right click on this one called Harvest. And when you right click on it you'll have an option. The option about halfway down is Edit Using Content Aware Editing. And that will go in and analyze your video and it will look to see what it can find using its algorithm. Let me show you another way to get to that same kind of screen. You can actually widen your media room and then click on the block with the dots and the down arrow which is your library menu. I click on the menu I have an option to view it under content aware details. I'll click on that and when I do that I notice that of all the clips I have in my media room that I have four that I have analyzed already and two that don't have a check mark under analyze I haven't analyzed at all. And if I want to analyze it, all I do is click on the clip and click on the Analyze button and it will go ahead and analyze that clip. The other nice feature of this window is it shows me what it's found in each of the videos. For example, of the ones I've analyzed, I see two where it's found sections where I am zooming the image with the camera. It's also found three different videos where if I look at the second one, that's our panning icon. It found one of them in which it found what we call faces. That's the smiley face in the third column. It found one of them where it found what it would call speech sections. It found two of them in which there was motion. That's the man running. And then it found three of them of the ones it's analyzed so far that may have a problem with shaky video. And so far of the ones I've analyzed, there are none of them that have problems with poor lighting. And in our subsequent video, we'll show you how it tries to fix either the shakiness or the poor lighting. But if I want to go back to my normal view, I'll just click on the, the same icon and go back to small icons. And now I'm back to my normal view. But I can go to any of these and I can begin to analyze it if I don't want to do it in the grid I just saw. So I'm going to click on this lower MTS file with the right mouse button. And I know I haven't analyzed that. I'm going to, to click on Edit Using Content Aware Editing. It will begin to analyze the file. Now if you've analyzed it once, you don't have to analyze it again. And depending on the length of the file, the algorithm will go through and it will look for those seven features. Zoom, pan, faces, speech, motion, shaky video, and poor lighting. And here I am in my content aware editing. Now I can click on any of the ones already analyzed and they would pop up much faster. What do we have here? Well, we have a preview window at the top and we have our normal player controls. And then the upper right, we have areas that we are selected that will go into the timeline and areas that are deselected. In the blue areas, we have areas where the algorithm found certain kinds of footage, whether on the zoom track, the pan track, the faces track, the speech track, the motion track, or problematic tracks like shaky video or poor lighting. Now, If I hover the mouse on any of these, it will tell me what it found. For example, here it found a zoom in, here a zoom in, here a zoom out. Now if I want to see what any of those segments look like, all I need to do is double click on it. And there, for example, is a zoom out. 
I click on this section here and double click, it thinks I have a zoom in. Now that technically isn't, it's just a motion of the camera toward the door, but it sees it as a zoom in. Let's look at the other one over here. This one is a visual zoom in. So sometimes it gets it exactly right, sometimes it's only close. Now here it says it found faces. I click on this segment and play it, there are no faces. But for some reason the algorithm thought that's what I found. So again, it's not perfect, but it gives me examples for these kinds. Let's look at the motion one. If I hover over it, the only word I see is motion. I double click on it and that's what it caught. Now notice in some of these sections, I have more than one thing it detected at the same time. Here I have motion, I also have camera shake, which is called slight, and I also have low brightness. We'll look at fixing these in the next tutorial. But the brown areas, you can apply a fix to the entire track, or you can right click on it and you can fix the, only that segment, and you can undo the fixes if you want. So let's try another one to see what we have. I'll cancel out on this and let's click on another video just to show you some variations. Let's take this parade segment. I'll right click on it and choose edit using content aware editing. Now here it found a zoom out. It found several areas where it, it's found faces. It found motion and it found a problematic area of shaky video. So if I double click on this again, zoom, obviously it caught the zoom very well. On here at faces, it was a section where we had quite a few faces it could detect. And we'll click here again, and it does a pretty good job on that in this particular case. Motion, let's see what it found here. Apparently a decent amount of motion across the screen. Let's try one other one. We'll cancel out on that. Let's look at the one of the speedboat on the lake. I'll right click and choose edit using content aware editing. Again, this has been through the process once, so there's no delay. Here it found a pan. If I double click on it, the entire movie is basically a pan from left to right. It found motion again along with the panning it might have been the guy moving across the screen from right to left it found what it called shaky video let's double click on this segment and see what it found there's a little bit of up and down of the motion of the camera let's see what it found here again a little bit as well and camera shake slight in this segment here so it can look for things in your video that you may want to include or exclude. Now in our next segment of the tutorial, we'd like to look at two things. How do you use this to choose things you want to put on the timeline and things you want to remove that don't go on the timeline? And then when you run into either shaky video or poor lighting, how do you use the tool to adjust for that? We'll look at that in our next segment on content-aware editing.